Factorising quadratics, further mass GCSE. Okay, so we've got this question, uh, factorise fully. Now, before we start factorising, if, if you see fully, then first thing we need to do is see is any sort of basic number factor. So here, 2, 2 and 40, if we, we can factorise out the 2, and make our life a little bit easier if we start with that. So that 2 is factorised out. And then from here, we need to factorise this quadratic expression. So we need to find um, a pair of numbers that multiply to give us 20, uh, minus 20, but are one apart. So um, things that multiply to give you 20 are 20 times 1, 10 times 2, and 5 times 4. And they're one apart because when I add them I get minus x. One of them has to be negative to get minus 20. And when I add them to minus x, the biggest one is negative because when I add them they're negative and the one that combines to make minus x but multiplies minus 20 is this one so that's minus 5 and plus 4 and we've still got that 2 in the front so we've got a 2 and x minus 5 and x plus 4 now if you hadn't noticed the 2 and you got to a point where you had something like um, uh, x plus 4 um, and 2x minus 10 or 2x plus 8 and x minus 5 then you would have probably got a special case mark of 2 because that's almost factorised out you just haven't taken the extra the factor out of, out of these expressions um, if you made a mistake and cancel one of these to get to just x plus 4 and um, x minus 5, if you had that, you would get a special case mark of 1 because you're sort of on the right lines but you shouldn't be cancelling out factors when it's actually asking you to show all the factors. Okay, so this is, here's another question. We've got uh, x plus y all squared. Now I would often, or I, I would tell you to, when you see it, an x plus y all squared, quickly write that out as a double bracket because quite often people forget what that actually means. So um, when we do that we can see that x plus y is in both of these so we can factorize out the x plus y bracket before we start and that leaves us with x plus y. Let's actually put an even bigger bracket, let's put a big square bracket in there. And then we've got this 2x plus 5y here. Oops. Okay, so I've taken that bracket out of both of these expressions and put that right on the outside. Now, if I combine this thing in the middle, um, I'm going to get um, the x plus y I've got on the outside. And then I've got x plus 2x is 3x, and y plus 5y is 6y. And hopefully, I can see that there's another number factor there. Something that goes into both of those is the number 3. So that goes to three lots of, and we've got the x plus y, and then we'll take the three out of here. What am I left with? Well, I'm left with just an x, because the three times x gives us three x, plus um, two y, because three times two y equals six y, and that would be our three marks there. Okay, so that's a sort of the quick way of spotting the x plus y first. You could multiply the whole thing out, multiply all this out, multiply all this out, get everything together, and you would probably have something like 3x squared plus 9xy plus 6y squared when you've multiplied all that out, um, and then factorise from there. So then take out the factor of 3 to give you the x squared plus 3xy um, plus... 2y squared, I don't know if I put a bracket there, and carry on from there. Um, that's quite difficult to factorise from there.